Hi there, Yen here. Um, I'm gonna show you a little work I'm working on. Um, it's basically uh, AI, so an advanced AI system that will be included in a hyper combat uh, component. So hyper, I'm gonna show you. So hyper got like a, a component based um, survival multiplayer. Uh, package uh, let me say and it's pretty neat because you got all the weapons in it all the animations in it only it got like a dummy ai in it so basically uh, it doesn't do much it sees you it attacks you and uh, that's it so i was trying to work on it so i had two options i could use my own uh, ai system that i have um, and then modify it so that it can use the, the inventory items and everything. But I was more interested in uh, how can I make that uh, dummy AI a little bit more advanced, let me say. So at this point, testing. So I'm going to quickly, hold on, I'm going to drag this back up. So what I did, so basically, in the asset that you install let me say you have only this folder the basic ai so what did i do i create a new folder then i open this then i copy both of these into this one then i started to rename everything so that everything stays uniform and then I start to modify everything. So I'm gonna go in my configurations. I'm gonna start placing some AI. Doesn't matter what is this. This is the mail to the over here somewhere. Okay. Then I'm gonna configure it. I'm gonna say like i created an ai component so to basically manage everything um i want to have this one follow a route then i'm gonna say you need to follow the route okay so that will just follow then the team i'm gonna leave them on let me say team a just to have some teaming you can put it on uh, whatever you want then i'm gonna put another one over here i'm gonna rotate that because at the moment it's only the vision on the ai so there's no maybe put it just here make the point this may be better okay so this one will have team b he will just stay there and wait he doesn't have a patrol route and they both got the fist so basically it's the unarmed uh, mode but as weapon it's set up like that it's good that you have like your fists okay so let's see what they do um, maybe put it on the big screen what it all be there we go so let me see he's just following the path and then i put it like but I need to lower the speed for the patrol path. So now we detect it. Now they're going to start to fight. And then normally when the enemy or the, the, the target uh, basically is dead, he needs to revert back into the wandering state or the passive state. So at this point, you see, it is working. So now, I'm going to escape out of it. Uh, let me see. 
if I now normally I put it like let me quickly see where did I put it is it on this one uh, fist so but then it will be on all of the rest of the characters yeah this needs to be a level up or this needs to be more like when I detect Ali that's what I want to do if I detect the target then I want to make a, a, a task let me say to check if the target first of all as a weapon if so check what kind of weapon take the references and then basically say equip the same weapon so that when you meet an AI as player he will always fight you with the weapon you will have in your hand um, at that point Ale, that's the that's the idea behind it so if I now go into disconnect this one and just take the default like it was set up let me quickly look basic sword 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 knife pistol I'm not gonna do it's working how let me say because yeah the system is not built uh, on the AI so the line tracing and everything is not working for AI so that I need to put in another function so normally now they should have a weapon wait what is he doing oh yeah okay okay and when they go too long and idle it's something from in the package itself but uh, then they start doing crazy tricks doing breakdance and everything so on this point this is not correct so the melee part is still not correct you see when you're idling too long he starts doing brain dance so this part is basically where i say are you in range so this is the same thing like i had on the uh, one in fist let me quickly look at it and pum, 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 pum. where is it there he is Ooh. your screen so yeah so to give you an id hypercode this was the original one and this is basically the two i adapted so that are those two and then the patrol so when he's patrolling then just the passive one but that i want to modify then a flea so what do the uh, what i say in my component um, i think it is on the vision so when we see a friend so that is basically based on the team that you're in then when we see an enemy then i go is the target that yes no and here i check eh? if the primary weapon is fist yeah we got a weapon or we have a sword or we have like the ranged uh, weapons and then if none then basically i say like hey dude get the hell out of here so he will run away and then need to modify i say the investigation so everything that is green is basically working in the first stage let me say you can always fine tune later so investigating seeking is not working the ones in brown they are almost working and the one in red is at the moment not completely working so in the unarm so like you see i'm gonna first set the aim mode then i set like the movement speed so the movement speed from here so he does it and then i got it i think on my component i don't know i need to quickly validate that yes here so i ah, yeah i'm gonna directly do it
good so i set it on 200 i'm gonna make the patrolling maybe let me quickly see maybe 140 120 okay so put that on that close that i don't need it and then this one i say and then here i had the same issue so this is the melee let me quickly investigate is the enemy dead or is he ah yeah this one is also not correct this needs to be the enemy i just saw it but this one i think this one is too Oh yeah, here it is, in this one. Yep, that one needs to go. And why is he not doing it? Okay, mm, delete. Save. Now, normally, he must attack. And let us look. Oh yeah, ever 11. <clears throat> Oop. Let's see what he does. I was focusing on the fisting. But it's basically the same logic. So and normally why is he not fleeing? He is not fleeing. So okay, that part I need to check. That part I need to check. So what is he doing at the moment? Or BT? Basically, is the enemy dead? No, the enemy is not dead. Then I'm gonna disconnect this one for a moment. Put this aside for a moment, so this is not. It's good. Trial and error. Okay, F11. Let me see what he does. Yeah, it's. I noticed that not always my my yeah the decorations uh, or working correctly sometimes so okay now they go okay so now they start to fight okay he's dead and then normally he needs to go back into the best data let me see is that correct do we have that one and what state is he he still is ah yeah okay that's because i don't clear the target that's because i don't clear the target but did i not put that at the bottom ah yeah okay put that over here put that one back over there and then let's see what he does eh? All right. Yeah, that's a nice part then. Huh? Okay, click F11. Okay, here we go. Wait, what weapon do we got? This is it. And now the nice part is he is also directly taking the correct. Oh, he got a gun. This will not be good. he won so now he should be yeah now he's now he's back in the wandering uh, position normally now oh yeah in the passive mode so he goes back to the passive mode so yeah and then the next part will be then the ranged uh, part but these two i still need to modify a little bit and the only thing, I don't know, I need to see those two, how I'm going to handle it. So, let me say, I got, and let me quickly go back, so I try to also keep everything a little bit uniform. And also, I try to not mess with the code of the system. That I add something to my human or my player character, yes, but not that I'm going to heavily start modifying um, the code 
or rather uh, want to have like I'm using the code and then modifying it. So the hearing, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, let me quickly see this, I think, on the control. <coughs> Uh, oh, he's still playing. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. We will see it later. Okay, we so uh, I right, here we go. That is the logic. Then we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Then here we go. So I was trying, or I'm going to try doing the vision, the hearing, the damage, and then touching so it will be a challenge so here i put everything in the component so i could have done everything on the controller but well, as it's component based i stay with the component so in this case we call our ai component we set the actor that we found we also give it the stimuli then on the component we say like the vision and then we come here and then it does the vision logic but like now if i'm not mistaken so in this case he directly goes into the attacking states but i was more thinking always start from the investigation and make here some kind of logic that says like okay you need to seek or you need to directly attack or for example you need to flee so that that part will be happening in this section and then we can move along the way we want to go and then also maybe i don't know make something like a companion thing or something but that is not for now so at this point yeah what you see is pure functionality from the component itself and the rest is just all trying to find the correct uh, values basically or the correct uh, functionalities uh, to to have everything working but the nice part like now is hold on i need to go one up master and i think it was over here this one yeah this one so the nice part is you're using the inventory items so like if i now here I say fist, so I'll long copy this, duplicate this, and I would go like I know, but if I say like, we're gonna remove this one, okay, I'm gonna give him the control. It is not working, eh? I'll, uh, he will take the pistol and everything, that is not the issue, but like I say, the line tracing and everything, so I'm gonna modify this again and bypass no reading and compile quickly press play so normally they both have to be there yep. yep let's see what they do now it's funny if it's working it's funny they're gonna shoot themselves <laughs> But the nice part is they are taking the pose so they are going to you with the aiming stand and mm -hmm. that is basically what i want so when you detect and when you're going to start attacking start going in the aim post but i need to see how i can uh, trigger uh, the shooting of the currently hold weapon let me say yeah? so this is all good but now they don't do anything much they just keep on standing over there and then all of a sudden when oh, normally when i gonna do escape you see but like you see it's all camera related and line tracing related 
Cool, that is at the moment the progress I have. I will still keep continuing until I got everything uh, uh, in the way I wanted. And then also, like I say, I did not do it in the main project. I really did it in the... Say I really did it in the component itself. Why? Then when everything is working correctly, then I have a combat component that has like an advanced uh, AI already in it when I migrated. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.